Hi, in today's tutorial we'll learn how to export an iPhoto slideshow with a 16x9 HD widescreen ratio aspect. So open up iPhoto and here I like working in the album first where I arrange the photos, do a few edits, and maybe add text. And then after the photos are arranged where you want, single click to select the album at the left of the screen. Go to the lower right side of the screen and click create. Then click slideshow. You will now see a slideshow project at the left column under slideshow. Click on the slideshow and you'll see all your photos and you'll see thumbnails at the top where you could scroll back and forth. Now you can work on settings for your slideshow. So click on settings at the lower right hand side of the screen and a window will appear that says slideshow settings. Click all side, click fit slideshow to music, skip show captions and show title slide if you want. Unclick repeat slideshow. Click scale photos to fit screen and click continue. Aspect ratio HD TV 16.9. Now click on this side and at the bottom you can choose Ken Burns. This is an effect when your photo zooms and pans giving a really nice motion feel to your slideshow. And if you want this effect on all of your photos you can select all your photos by clicking on one of them and do a command A. Otherwise you can add the Ken Burns effect individually. Make sure that your slideshow is playing the music you want by going to the music icon below and choosing the file you want. After previewing your project and you're happy with the settings, then you're ready to export. Click export at the bottom of the screen and you'll see a window and at the bottom click on custom export. Another window will appear and here you will save your movie to where you can find it. Usually I save mine in the movie file. Then where you see export, click on the options button and the window will appear. Click on the setting, set the quality to high, click OK. On the export size settings, choose HD 1920 by 1080 16 9. And um, preserve aspect ratio using crop and click OK. Sound is OK, but unclick prepare for internet streaming and then click OK. And in the next window, click save and wait for the movie to render. So now you have a high quality movie as your master and you can create a small enough movie to share on mobile movie gallery, Facebook, YouTube, or anywhere of your choice. And to do this, open your master movie that was created, go to file and choose save as, and choose the option to create a 720p movie. Save it with a different name, otherwise it'll replace your master. Then click save, wait a few minutes, and check to see if it's low enough to share online. And if not, we may have to re-export the master at a medium level. This format, by the way, can be imported to an Apple IDVD project, which is another simple tutorial i like to share one day later. So hope that helps. Send me your questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thank you. Bye-bye.